A pair of Vikings battle to benefit breast cancer, the Curtis Vikings versus the Piala Vikings, and it's coming up next on Comcast On Demand. Hello, I'm Erez Katz, and tonight we have a very important game for you tonight on Comcast On Demand. Important for two reasons. First of all, because we have a Curtis team that comes in 6-0, and but is playing their SPSL 4A opener against a very good Pialop team that comes in undefeated at 2-0 and in conference play. But secondly, and perhaps more importantly, we're all decked out in pink tonight because this game is being played to benefit women's breast cancer awareness and to promote it, and it's all for a good cause called Volley for the Cure. So it should be a very special night here tonight at University Place. It's Piala versus Curtis, and it's coming your way next on Comcast On Demand. Okay, so we're here with Coach Jeff Groshans of the Curtis Vikings. Jeff, um, it's a very special night tonight to benefit uh, women's breast cancer awareness. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on tonight? I know I'm wearing uh, one of these pins over here. Got the pin and I got my pink shirt on and there's a lot of pink in the stands. Um, basically, yeah, one of my um, moms, the younger players, kind of came to me at the end of last school year and said hey, she has this great idea. She saw it on the website uh, that some Ohio teams did it and just packed the stands with pink and uh, brought in a lot of money for the Susan G. Komen Foundation just to a great make the uh, awareness, raise the awareness of breast cancer, and a lot of people have been touched by it, so it's a, I think it's all the right reasons for a, a great cause. Right, absolutely, and so um, these pins like the one I'm wearing are going for a $5 donation, and the t-shirts that everybody's wearing to warm up and what we're seeing in the stands, those are going for $10, and $5 of that goes to breast cancer awareness, correct? That is correct. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. Um, that's really a great cause that you're supporting here. Um, as far as the game tonight, what do you think you have to do to beat a team that's 2-0 in the SPSL? Well, they're 2-0. Tony's a, a great coach, and Pialop's a good team. He always finds a way to uh, somehow extract the greatest possible potential from each of his players, and we have to uh, serve them tough. We have to beat them in the surface seed battle, and we got to put them in situations where we, we make them have unforced errors. And you feel like you guys are ready to do that tonight? I think we're a very evenly matched team. It's going to come down to, I think it's going to be a battle. It's going to be who, want, who wants it more. Okay. Sounds good, Coach. Thanks a lot, and have a great night out there. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this with the first game and the starting lineups. OK, so we're here at Curtis High School in University Place, Washington, for a big SPSL 4A matchup between the Piala Vikings and the Curtis Vikings. This game is brought to you by Banner Bank. Banner Bank thanks all of your kids for going out there on the court and making us so proud. Banner Bank, thanks for making us so proud. We'll give you the starting lineups. First for the visiting Pialop Vikings. They will start a very experienced lineup, all seniors. First, it will be number one, Amid, it's Rebecca Robbins. Number two, Kelsey Kalamajek is a senior setter. Number three is Liz Haskey, a senior defensive specialist. Number four is Bryn Bertrand. Number five is Megan McGinn, an outside hitter, also a senior. Number nine will be Blair Bjorkman, a senior outside hitter. Number 11 is Mandy Malcook, a junior mid, and they are coached, Pialop is, by Tony Batinovich as the first ball gets into play. Setting up on a hard spike from the side, that's number one, Rebecca Robbins, who'll be one of their key players to watch. We'll get to the Curtis starters in just a minute. Nice set in the middle for number five, hard kill at the net, that's Megan McGinn. Kept alive still, but it goes wide, and Pialop, the visitors, will have the first point of this game. Going back to serve will be Kelsey Kalamajic. She's number two, part of this very experienced Pialop lineup. Almost all seniors starting and they come in at 4-2 and 2-0 two, and two and oh in the SPSL 4A early on. Nice set there, but at the net, a lift will be called against Curtis. So we'll give you the Curtis starters quickly here. They have number one, Molly McLean is the libero. Number two is Kenzie Tigan, a senior setter. Uh, number three is Samantha Hutchinson, the outside hitter. Number Five is Andrea Gubella, senior out. So we're back here with the entire Piala Vikings team. They're all the Comcast Varsity Sports Player of the Game tonight. 
just an amazing effort by every single player on this team tonight, um, including number three here, Liz Haskey. We're going to let her speak for the team. How did you come out and beat this undefeated Curtis team, which is a very good team? Well, we came out undefeated too, and we knew, we knew that we had the, the talent to come back and get them after this, the first mat, the first game. Even though we didn't start as strong, we knew that we had the heart to come back and play as a team. Right, yeah. Um, actually, they had all the momentum in the first game, and then you guys seemed to completely turn it around. Uh, how did you do that? Like, how did you turn it all around? We had a great pep talk by our coaches in the, after this, the first game, and we knew that what we had to improve on, and we all took responsibility for the errors that we made. Okay, so, yeah, it was an amazing performance. Also want to ask you, how does it make you feel on such a special night, uh, benefiting breast cancer, a good cause, and you guys played so well? That's got to feel good too, right? Yeah, it feels amazing. We were able to raise a bunch of money for breast cancer awareness, and hopefully it'll go and be able to promote some help in that area. And to come out with a win was even better, especially with our fans that came a long way. Right. <laughs> definitely, these girls definitely brought a lot of goodwill into the world tonight in many ways. So all you guys get the sweatshirt, the whole Piala team. So... Yeah. <laughs> So that's going to wrap it up tonight from Curtis High School, where it was Piala defeating Curtis three games to one. <laughs> I'm Ares Katz. For Gabe Myers and the whole Game Tapes crew, we thank you for joining us. Join us next week for more exciting volleyball action. For all the girls at Piala, have a great night, everybody. Yeah.